Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I've got a very special video. In today's video we are checking out this all new Fly Color F4 PDB board. This is a flight controller with an F4 MCU on it and it's got a built-in PDB. That means if you're running single ESCs, you are good to go. You can wire them all right to one board. It's got everything built in. Some will call it a AIO or a all-in-one because that's pretty much what this is. The only thing not built in is gonna be your ESCs. So I'm pretty excited to check this out. Flycolor is a really good company. They even make uh, commercial products like agriculture type stuff and all kinds of other commercial products. This is a big company. They're not just playing around with just hobbyist line toys. They actually make products that people use every day for their business. So I would imagine that they've got a lot to show here. And let's find out. Let's dive in. Let's take a look at their board. Let's check out the quality. I'm going to show you guys the pinout just in case you're interested in that. We're really going to dive into this thing. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go. Uh, uh. All right. So for starters, it comes in a nice little case. You've got yourself a QR code on the back if you wanted to go ahead and scan it and get your manual, which is pretty cool that they have that. Pretty sure that there's a manual in here. I mean, why wouldn't they give us a manual? Let's see. Oh, there we go. So... You've got a manual right there. Let's crack this open. And yes, it is in English and a few other languages. That's pretty cool. You've got some foam. You've got your, whoo, that purple though. You've got yourself your board. You've got uh, a Ziploc bag and that's it when it comes to what's inside of the case. So I'm going to throw that to the side over here by my HDO2s. Uh, uh. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. We've got tons of connectors, so we'll get into those more later. We've got an XT60 plug. We've got a uh, low ESR capacitor, some plastic mounting screws, which I don't think anybody uses plastic mounting screws anymore, but I am seeing the metal with rubber standoffs. And what you do is you screw those down and then you're able to mount and you're not only getting a strong hold from the metal, but you've also got the vibration dampening from the rubber. So those are really nice to see. So let's go ahead and dive right into this thing. So the first thing we've got is we've got our arrow right here. So what does that mean? That means that when you mount this into your quadcopter, you are gonna face it in this direction. That way everything is off to the sides, including your connectors and including your USB is off to the side so you can plug in and get into beta flight. And then out the back would be your XT60 and you're welcome to shoot right out the back or you can kind of do a, a, a curved motion like that and zip tie it to a standoff, something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the specs a little bit. What does this thing have? This thing has a F405 MCU. We kind of knew that. We've got an MPU 6000 gyro. It's rocking the Omnibus F4 firmware. So if you were curious as to which target you would have, this thing can handle anywhere from 2S all the way up to 6S. All right, you've also got three different battery eliminator circuits. What is that? That is your BEX. You've got three different ones in there. You've got a 3.3, a 5 volt, and you've got a 12 volt. So that means if you want to pair this with the DJI Air Unit, it's going to be perfect. You have your regular mounting size. It only weighs about 15 grams and that is sick. How do we wire it? Well, you're going to wire it by First, you're gonna connect your LiPo right here, and then over here is where you're gonna connect each motor if you haven't caught on to that already. You've got your power, you've got your ground, uh, you've got your signal ground, your signal wire, and then you've got another wire, which is your ESC telemetry. I would imagine we have, oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? Look at this, guys. Pilots, look at this. They have lined up capacitors on every single arm. That is gorgeous. I love that. I know that it's an all-in-one. I know that we've got to have that, but they did it in just a beautiful manner. It's not just a big block of capacitors laying there. You've got yourself a nice row going on each side. I absolutely love it. All right, so you've also got pads on the bottom. So that means if you wanted to wire it uh, from the bottom, you could. You're not limited by only having to do it from the top. So I do like that. That is really nice. All right, so jumping right in, we've got our 
MCU, we've got an F405 RG T6. That is the standard F405 microcontroller that gets used inside of these flight controllers. If you are not familiar with that, uh, we've got ourselves a boot button, LED indicator. We've got our MPU 6000 right there, just looking absolutely gorgeous. All right, what else do we have? We've got a couple LDOs on here. We've got some onboard flash, it looks like. We've got all kinds of stuff, Betaflight OSD. We've got ourselves a crystal and a resonator. This is looking really, really nice. So what we've got right here is we have got a full UART, five volts. We've got a ground. We've got another UART. We've got another ground, and we've got our 3.3 volts. So I'm not seeing anything laid out for connection as far as our receiver goes, our VTX, our video, where's that at? We've got right here <laughs> 5 volts, 12 volts, and a ground. So that means whatever you need to wire up, and that's really, really nice to be able to do that, to be able to say, hey, I need extra voltage here. Let me get a solid 12 volts, a healthy healthy regulate at 12 volts and just go ahead and pull that off of here and connect it to something man that's nice so not only is this an all-in-one not only can you connect everything nice and fancy on each and every arm you've also got yourself a connector for an led from each and every arm how nice is that why didn't they give us the leds though i guess they said you know what you need to build them on your own or you need to get your own but we're gonna hook you up with the plugs that you need to do it. That's really nice. So if I plug this in and boom, look at that. And then there's your three wires. You can go ahead and wire up your LED. When we're talking about this board, I mean, we are packed with stuff. Now, the, the pinout isn't laid out the way that I would like it. I would like to also have a solder pad for each and everything. They didn't do that. They hooked you up with connectors and uh, you've got them all right here. And what you do, let me show you, is you'll go ahead and, for example, I believe this is your receiver. You'll go ahead and you'll plug that in. You'll whack this off and you'll wire up your receiver like that. So when you're talking about a crossfire, that's fantastic because a crossfire doesn't have any built-in wires. But when you talk about an RXSR, which actually has a plug on one end, and your only option is to connect via the wires, that makes it kind of hard because now I've got to cut these wires, cut those wires and splice them together and heat shrink and the whole balancing act. And I, I'm not a fan of that. So I don't know why they did that to us. I would have liked for them to at least put our receiver. How about, how about our VTX? Most of these VTXs come with connectors on them. We don't have the option to hard solder to it and then hard solder to the board. I mean, and when I take a close look, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing my VTX is in the middle, my receiver's right here, and then my camera will be right here on the front. So you are labeled with an S. So this is a little bit confusing. If this is your first build, you've never done a build, and you're interested in this, uh, this setup right here, the F4, 05 uh, PDB fly color you're gonna find yourself with an S on here and an S on here and they're just labeling it for signal there's telling you you know that is your camera out and um, your camera in and your VTX out it's really not too bad but if you didn't know that you probably would have found yourself in trouble all right pilot so we have jumped over to the bench we're gonna go ahead and power this thing up let's see what it uh, purrs like and let's do a little bit of testing and feel around the board see what we like um, I don't know if I went over this. We've got a nice shunt resistor right here. That's very nice for our current sensing. Let's go ahead and hook up our positive lead there. Just so you know, on the power supply, I am pushing 16 volts to the T. So we're resembling uh, right around a four cell LiPo. Oh, shit. that scared me. All right, there we go. And if I kill the light, You'll see that our LEDs are on, the board has power. Let's go ahead and take this and we're gonna give this guy a little testy test. Now I don't know if it's set up in beta flight, but hopefully it is. If it's not, we'll just set it up real quick. Oh, that is freaking sweet. Look at that. Who doesn't love LEDs, man? I love them. I love me some RGB, baby. 
Look at that. So somehow they got set to blue, right? Is that blue? I think that's blue. I'm not sure. But it's bright as all get out. Look at that, man. I'm lighting up the night sky. Oh, those are getting hot and they are getting hot quick. Okay. So no need to keep pushing our luck on that one. So that's really nice. So the board is putting out a beautiful LED. That's really nice the way you just plug and play like that. So these are really, really nice. All right, pilot. So we're going to do some testing. The very first thing I want to do is I have put my meter to test on amperage. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect this here. And I want to just see what this thing is pulling. Let's give a quick check. And as you'll see, when I touch this probe rod to the positive pin, I'm completing the circuit. My board is turning on and I'm pulling about 0 0.05, which isn't bad. It's healthy. It's not bouncing around. That's beautiful. I do like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get voltage back on it. Boom. All right. So right here, we've got 5, 12 in ground. That's perfect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a ground pad. I'm going to grab this one right here, and this one, if you can guess, is the 5 volt pad. Uh oh, what are you guys doing? All right, let's check the 12 volt pad. Uh oh, what are you guys doing? I'm just kidding, guys, don't be silly. That's perfect. 12.18, what do we got? 5.29, that's beautiful, and it's consistent too, it's very consistent. I'm really digging this board, guys. I think it's gorgeous. I love the purple. I love the fact that I can plug in LEDs with a breeze. That is extremely important. Overall, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that they laid out these capacitors. Uh, you might struggle a little bit with plug connectors. If you don't like plug connectors, this might not be the board for you. But that's the whole point of this video. If you've never, ever, ever uh, seen this board or had this board in your hand, but you were considering buying it, at least you're able to pull up this video. You're able to see what it's all about. You get to learn a little bit about it right before you buy it. All right, pilots. Well, if you were curious about the fly color, uh, F4 PDB and you wanted to get one, but you weren't sure if you were going to be making a good decision. Now you have all the facts that you need to know about this board. It's absolutely gorgeous. But if you're not into having uh, everything be connectors, you're probably not going to want this board. It just might not be the right board for you. Other than that, this board is absolutely amazing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.